Hey everyone, we are here live at Axel Brewing. I mean, not really live, this is recorded. I mean, if you're seeing this live, you're the camera guy. So yeah, here's There's Joe. No camera guy. <laughs> There's no camera guy. There's no camera guy now. I was the camera guy. You're gonna see me in a little bit doing my camera work as Joe gets a sneak peek of uh, Livernoi Tap, which is also Axel Brewing's tap house. Yes. Nick Drinks. Axel Brewing has opened a tap room in Ferndale. We are drinking the Grungeist, which is a type of hop from Germany. Yeah. What's cool about this is so not only do they have the production beers, which they're actually canning and putting into production, you see them in the stores if you're in, in that area, but they're actually going to do a couple that are only available in the tap room, and that's what makes this cool, is uh, the brewer, Adam, which we talked to a little bit later, he's actually doing a cool, a bunch of cool, unique, creative things, and he's going to expand his wings a little bit in his uh, you know brewing world. I'm here with Adam Beretta, head brewer of Axel Brewing here in Ferndale, Michigan. Adam, thanks for having us tonight. No problem. Thank you for coming out. Uh, we're happy to be here. We're happy to be part of the community. Um, new place, new design, new beer. Um, we hope everybody likes what we have to offer. And then also, Greg goes to doing the food inside. So there will be a variety of upscale bar food. Um, imaginative bar food, if you will. Um, I believe uh, Dan said it was whimsical. I'm with Dan Riley, president and owner of Axel Brewing Company. Hey, Dan, thanks for having us tonight. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Uh, are you going to show us around the tap room? Sure, yeah. It's uh, definitely the first uh, the first go around in a couple minutes, so let's do it. We're inside Livernoy Tap right now with Dan. Uh, Dan, tell us what's going on in here. Well, we're uh, just getting ready for a soft opening dress rehearsal for uh, some of our uh, investors and our media family and friends. Um, this is the first time we'll actually be serving the full menu in different pieces, but uh, it's about uh, the end of 10 months of pretty heavy duty construction and uh, a lot of anticipation and uh, we're ready to go. So uh, opening to the public on uh, Saturday, so we're going to work through some things the next couple nights with some of our close friends and uh, should be ready to go on Saturday. So the menu is uh, has been created by Grey Ghost in Detroit, correct? Yeah, the, the principals at Four Man Ladder, um, who own Grey Ghost, are also my partners here. Um, so Joe Giacomino and John Vermigler were working back there, brought in Chef Reed Shipman, and they've been collaborating on a menu for the last couple months. It's uh, pretty fun, whimsical, inspired beer food is what we call it, but a lot of things you'll see that are familiar and uh, really funky, but the execution's amazing and pairing really well with some of the beers Adam's got coming out of this system. So uh, it's really exciting. Uh, anything else that we want to share? The Grungeist is great. I uh, highly recommend it. it. Reminds me of a Kolsch. It's light, fruity, you know. No fruit. This is a fruitless beer. It is a fruitless beer, but it tastes like peach and lemon, you know. I like my podcast, A Fruitless Pursuit of the Truth. But uh, yeah, so this is a sneak peek. It's going to open uh, Saturday, which is the 3rd of June. If you're watching this in year 2020, this opened in 2017. Nick Drinks. I want to say for the record what a miserable experience this was with Joe. Joe's my least favorite person to work with. Hi, Joe. How are you? Hey, Nick. 